I call uh, David Shearer. Mr Chair, this is a bit rich from this member coming up and standing up and saying that. This is not about what he's talking about. It's simply about ideology. It's about ideology of, of bringing down tax rates and, and rewarding those people at the top of the tax pile. And the reason we're here today, Mr, Ch Mr. Chair, talking about this particular bill is because we're going to be stripping out the, uh, the working for families and we're going to be stripping out the KiwiSaver of, uh, that is going to affect those middle income those middle income people that we don't have enough of, according to that member, that we don't have enough of. And the reason we're doing that, Mr Chair, the reason we're doing that is because we've got $16.7 billion deficit. This government came in on a $5 billion surplus and we've now got a $16.7 billion deficit. That is extraordinary in three years. How can you fail so comprehensively in three years. The only, the only comparable thing that I can, I can think of, Mr Chair, is that same Minister of Finance taking over the National Party when the National Party was bowling at 30% and driving it down to 21% in three years during 1999 uh, to 2002. That's the only thing that I can think of that is as comparable a failure as taking $5 billion surplus and turning it into a $16.7 billion deficit. And because of that, and because they have given, they have restructured the tax rates so inequitably, we are now sitting here, we are now sitting here debating how we're going to strip out the KiwiSaver provisions and undermine people's confidence in KiwiSaver, undermine people's confidence in KiwiSaver, hit those people that are sort of see, that Mr. Key calls richer people on, on working for families. My God, those people aren't rich. They're the people that come into my electorate office. Um, I know KiwiSaver and working for families is part two. While you can mention it now, we're actually on part one. If you type back, that's fine, but uh, don't spend the rest of your time on KiwiSaver because otherwise I'll have to stand up and pull you up. David Shearer. Thank you, Mr Chair. So, uh, so the point, Mr. Mr Chair, is a tax bill like this is really looking to try and pull money back, pull money back to fund a deficit which is blown out to $16.7 billion, seven times higher than the projected deficit in 2008. Seven times higher. And Mr uh, Stuart Nash mentioned, mentioned the, the, the projections. The projections, Mr Chair, when you look at them from, the, from Treasury, have been consistently, consistently below, the, above what the reality is. The IRD has probably got it much, much closer to the truth. But here's what Standard & Poor's actually says. The budget foresees an operating deficit of $16.7 billion, 8.4% of GDP, in 2010-2011, compared to a $11.1 billion deficit, 5.5% of GDP foreshadowed in, half, in the half-year economic and fiscal update announced in December 2010. Literally five months ago, five months ago we were looking at $11.1 billion, and now we've got $16.7 billion deficit. Now, I don't understand, Mr. Mr. Chair, how on earth Treasury can get it so wrong so consistently for so many years, unless, unless this government, unless this government, Mr. Chair, is actually pushing Treasury to raise the forecast to make it, look, to make it more optimistic. And that's something that people are starting to realise. That's something that people are starting to realise. That not only does this budget base is, is gutting the, the, uh, the, the many provisions that are, that are actually set that middle class New Zealanders are, are needing, but it's actually based on a whole bunch of false promises and false projections. False promises and false projections. It means, Mr Chair, that as we struggle, we struggle to try and curb this deficit that seems to be out of control, because where those projections are not going to come true any more in, in the next two or three years as they have done in the last two or three, 
As we try and struggle to pull that deficit under control, we are, we, it means that we are not funding the very things that are growing this economy. And if there's one thing that's absent in this, in this budget, Mr Chair, it's the fact that there is nothing in this, in this budget. There is no plan to grow the economy. There is absolutely no plan to grow this economy. I, I mean, I, look, I, I looked at, the, the, uh, look at some of the provisions in R&D, some of the provisions in tertiary education. There is nothing there, Mr Chair, which would give me any confidence to believe that this is going to try and grow our economy any more. I call Paul Quinn. Thank you, Mr Chair. Mr Chair, this is extraordinary. We're into the third year 